Hey Sagittarius, it's I am 303 High Priestess. This is your weekly reading for April 2021. Sun will rise in the sign, y'all. Let's go ahead and jump into your reading, okay? Okay, you got the snake and the dragonfly here. Tell me about your intuition. And you shedding some much needed skin. You're stepping into a new mindset. That's what I am seeing here. We're going to go ahead and get your cards out, though. And see what message your spirit team has for you. Okay? They're telling you, beware. Beware, Sagittarius. Be careful who you trust at this time. Do it. Be careful who you trust at this time. Maybe friends, family, a lover, someone that you're around. Okay? A business deal. That may go wrong. Make sure you read the fine print. I feel more like this is talking about a, a person here. Okay. Ooh, jeez. Marriage. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love at this moment. It's like a double message. My goodness. Okay. You just can't trust anybody these days okay i told you about your intuition and then number 22 is coming out talking about partnerships relationships okay they're saying listen to your intuition someone is going to be you may be attracting this love okay it may be filled with a lot of excitement because it's new okay uh for some of you this is someone that you have already been with or you're with them now okay um and the emotions were strong at first but we're gonna see we're gonna look at your past present and future energy past energy you have communication coming in and the solar plexus they're saying be aware of people that drain your energy with that solar plexus uh chakra color there okay um and this is due to your relationship here, okay? You have compassion in the present moment. That's what I said. It's all good until it's not good. You have the number 33 and the number 99 there. Oh, and the number 55 coming out. Look at these numbers, you guys. We're talking about adventure here in the future. But beware who you give your heart over to. Okay. We're going to take a look at your past energy here, Sagittarius, and see what spirit wants you to be aware of. I feel like your spirit team is around right now, watching over you, Sagittarius, um, because someone actually has a mask on, okay? They are not who they portray themselves to be. You have the Queen of Pentacles in the past energy. Someone likes what you have. And you have the Ten of Wands coming out in the past energy as well, which is telling me you work for exactly what you have right now. You work, you put in a lot of hard work, okay? Long hours, long nights, uh, carrying a lot of weight on your shoulder, emotionally, physically being just burdened down by a relationship or a connection. That's what I'm feeling here. With. But the Queen of Pentacles is always nurturing and taking care of other people, either... Uh, Emotionally or financially, that's what I'm seeing here with the Queen of Pentacles, okay? All right. I feel Sagittarius, you don't like to be broke. That's why you work so hard. But some relationship is really getting under your skin, some connection that I'm seeing here, okay? You may have been dealing with a third-party situation, um, which is you're turning your back on new love now. Someone that you either are going to separate from or you have separated from, okay? Because they bring a lot of baggage, okay, along with their love, <laughs> along with their their uh, affection that's what i'm seeing here and it's just too much to bear um too much responsibility and they're saying be careful who you trust at this time okay because either you're connected to this person and they're draining your spirit they're draining your um your soul okay or you are going to meet this person soon let's look at the present energy and see if this person is actually coming in for you if you're not with someone quite yet okay or see what other messages spirit has for you okay before i flip this over i have a message from this communication card 
I feel like spirit is saying that you need to, to speak up for yourself, okay? Uh, with the solar plexus energy that's coming in here, okay? Because just like this uh, yellow card, um, yellow card, you see it's yellow. <laughs> just like the solar plexus telling you to be aware of people that drain you, this card is saying be aware of who you trust here. And it is some connection, some relationship. You guys could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, or dealing with the fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this person uh, possibly takes you for granted here, okay? Um, yeah. Others, if you're single, this is someone coming in towards you with the Knight of Swords energy. Dang. Oh my goodness. They hold too many issues, okay? Um, and I feel like there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding this connection, this new relationship that's moving in towards you here, okay? We're giving it there. For some of you, it is new love with a challenge att attached to it, water sign or a um, air sign that I'm seeing here, okay? But it causes a lot of uncertainty, Um and troubles of the mind like this person likes to play mind games and then gives you be careful what's in that cup like <laughs> seriously they're they're handing you this cup of love saying hey i'm interested um and i can fulfill your emotions here i can fulfill your life not life but i can give you love here okay and i'm interested please accept this cup but I feel like over time here, it, it, it becomes very apparent that there's something wrong with this person's energy and vibration. That's why you have the card saying, listen to your intuition when I was shuffling these cards up here. Okay, um, because this love comes with a lot of suffering or quite a bit of mental struggle with the nine of swords. Okay, yes. Some of you guys are obsessing over a love here or wanting love and you call this love in and it comes in very quickly with the Knight of Swords, but it comes with a challenge. That's what I'm seeing here. Careful of who you trust at this time. That's what I'm seeing. And we're going to clarify that. What is this uh, adventure card here for Sagittarius? Okay, so you have the Magician card. Someone's very attracted to your energy, okay, and how you make things happen. But they hold a lot of secrets. That's what I'm seeing here. Nine of Swords and the High Priestess that's coming out here. I don't always say secrets when the High Priestess comes out. It's more about your intuition as well. But um, I feel like it's secrets that this person may not want you to know about them. Your and spirit is saying, listen to your intuition because it's true. Listen to those gut instincts. Okay. I feel like they want something else from you. Let's get one more card out. What's going on here with Sagittarius? <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Okay. A lot of cards coming out here. Whoa. Okay. You have the moon card that's coming out. This person is not realistic about relationships here. That's what I'm saying. Um, you may have someone that is very codependent or likes to depend on other people to provide for them, take care of them. Okay. And they don't have any real intentions of joining you in the struggle with the devil card that's coming in here. Um, Spirit is saying that you need to become clear about this person, that you can't fix them. No matter how much you do for them, how, how much you give to the relationship, they're not grounded in reality. And you can't fix this person here in the future energy because you may keep trying to give to this individual or um, get them to... Um, see your point of view and try to show them your love language show you show them how to love you and show them that you are really someone that um cares about them okay you may be the one that is giving um unconditional love but i feel like with the um moon card here and the devil card this person that you're dealing with um may not be on the same level okay <laughs> I feel like this individual may like to overindulge in everything. Um, 
and they're just not grounded in reality they don't know how to properly operate in a relationship and uh, they don't understand give and take I feel like this is a taker whoever you are dealing with here okay that's a secret that they're truly a taker regardless of what they say okay it's what they do that matters and that's why your card is saying beware be careful of the people that drain you of individuals that drain you of your life force of your resources as well because you have the pinnacles this person may be very money hungry or money driven yes sagittarius let's clarify this past energy queen of pentacles ten of swords and the five of cups i feel like once you give them exactly what they need they may abandon you um or turn their back on you here the runner that's who they are they are the runner okay runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listening to their ego here okay you have self-absorbed narcissists one-sided relationship and love bombing here that's what you may be dealing with a runner they get what they need and it's like a thief okay robbing the goodies robbing the bank you're the bank here okay <laughs> you're the bank you have it and they want it and as soon as you give it give them whatever their heart desires they'll drop you as soon as you get into them okay as soon as you want to settle down that's what the knight of swords is about here okay having a lot of passion and chemistry with each other having fun and as soon as it's no longer fun or they have what they need i feel like you are the one who's left with your head in your hands here wondering what happened here okay so be aware of who you give your energy to that's what i'm seeing here spirit is saying um let unneeded things go let unneeded people go all right in the present moment here we're looking at the knight of swords the nine of swords and this ace of cups energy here we have the dragonfly is saying okay things coming to light adapt change and heal yourself so this will be something that will come to light that this person was just using you for their own benefit unfortunately this is something that we have to deal with as empaths okay as um gentle spirits here gentle souls people wanting to come in and use you and then leave you high and dry that's what i'm saying yes i said this in the beginning someone's wearing a mask not showing true feelings high personify pretend delude and gaslight they make you feel so important like they feel they act like they're so lucky but in the reality okay the secret is out um that they truly don't feel that way so be cautious of who you give your time and your attention to sagittarius okay because it'll leave you heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving and mourning here okay i feel definitely with this marriage card it is just something that someone may be telling you unfortunately okay you may be attracting someone but you will be emotionally fulfilling them you will be showing unconditional love okay while they are wearing this mask just soaking up the goodness that you are providing to them i'm gonna tell you the truth okay don't work yourself to death for this person here okay because i feel like you'll constantly work on the connection in the relationship and they'll just be taking um while you're giving and you feel like you're you're a good person and you may be a very very good person okay but do not uh needlessly sacrifice yourself for someone that does not show you um the same kindness the same generosity um same words kindness generosity <laughs> um that you give to them the same love if the love is not being reciprocated it's time to pull back and reevaluate the connection in the relationship and see what if it aligns with what you need and what you want in the future make sure that your needs are being met while you are let while you're um fulfilling someone else's needs that's what i'm saying to you okay that is your reading, Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell because I will be back with you to pick up this reading. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.